Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're having corrupted UI fluid icons on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, search for services, best match, should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to locate the Windows Font Cache service, so it should be close to the bottom here, not too far from the bottom, and double click on it. If service status is running, go ahead and stop the service, and then you want to go ahead and start the service again. And if it's presently disabled, just go ahead and actually start the service. And close out of here. Once you're done with that, close out of here. Open up File Explorer or you can also search for it. If you have the taskbar shortcut, you're just going to open it up that way. Select this PC on the left panel. Double click on your drive where Windows is installed. It should be indicated by a little Windows icon above the hard drive. And then you want to do the same thing for the Windows folder in here. Double click on Service Profiles. And double click on it. Same thing for Local Service. App data. Now, if you don't see the app data folder, you will need to make hidden files and folders. You will have to make them viewable. So, in order to do that, you would select the three dotted icon up here, select options, and then underneath the view tab, you want to make sure show hidden files, folders, and drives is selected, and then apply and OK. And then, like I said, double click on the app data folder. Same thing for local, and there should be a font cache folder in here. Double click on that. And then anything in here, just highlight over all of them or tap Control A on your keyboard to select all of these items. And then right click and then the little trash bin icon to delete them. And then you can skip certain items if you need to do so. And that's pretty much it. You may want to clear out the recycling bin as well. And then I would suggest restarting your computer. Now you want to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevator command line window, type in SFC and then a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to the forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Once that is concluded, go ahead and close out of here. Then you want to restart your computer. And hopefully your problem has been resolved at this point. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.